Let me just welcome everybody here to our fifth annual Energy Summit. We have a, about a thousand attendees here, uh, four different nations represented here today, and 20 different states. Since the inception of this event, we have made significant strides in investment in Utah's energy. In Utah, and in kind of in the inner mountain west in the last five years, we've invested about four and a half billion dollars. How can you not be excited about this industry as you walk around this hall? We are trying to make sure that we are leaders in the West. All of these changes, be the distributed generation, demand response, electric vehicles, all of this requires new investment. The true value and success of the day is all of you engaging in the energy discussion. Energy is a foundation for a good quality of life, certainly a foundation for a healthy, robust economy. When you look at the economy and the great things that are happening, and as we all take credit for, for what's happening there, everyone will tell you, ask any economic development person, our cheap energy is one of the reasons our economy has done so well uh, for so long. We're 100% invested in making sure that, that every year the air is going to be a little cleaner, every year the water is going to be a little cleaner, and yet we're still going to have a thriving you know, energy economy. If we spend a lot of money to reduce our carbon footprint and other countries in the world don't, we won't have made a difference. We believe our nations and certainly our state's uh, futures depend on our ability to develop all forms of energy. Taking action and doing that with integrity as we continue to drive and strive for a sustainable energy future, not just for Utah, not just for the region, but also for our country. This is a great time. It's a great time of transition, and getting the rules right will be very key to making sure that we have a better future than we otherwise could have.